the greatest Royal Rumble pay-per-view happening tomorrow, which we didn't know if your Eastern Standard Time is at 12 noon, and if your Pacific is going to be at 3 p.m. That is uh, taking place in Dubai. They've been advertising it very heavily, but there's a couple title changes that are almost guaranteed to happen tomorrow. So if you don't want to watch the pay-per-view, this may be the easiest way to know what's going to happen. The main one is going to be Roman Reigns winning a uh, belt. Now, he was actually scheduled to win this at WrestleMania. Going into the match, Roman was going to win. The whole entrance and everything, halfway through the match, Vince told the ref through an earpiece, we're going to keep it on Brock. Now, they said going into this that if Vince liked the reaction from the crowd, Roman was going to win the belt. Guaranteed. So, if the crowd reacts great to Roman, we're guaranteed a title change. If the crowd doesn't react good to Roman, Brock's going to hang on to it. The only reason Brock could hang on to this is because they really want to top CM Punk's title reign to get him out of the history books for being the longest champion. But as of right now, Roman is scheduled to beat Brock. The other title change that could really happen is Jinder Mahal winning the belt off of Jeff Hardy. That's because they are in a Indian country and with Jinder Mahal being pushed heavily towards the Indian influence and bringing that market, pretty sure they're going to throw the belt back on Jinder Mahal for this. Now, if they do that, then the IC title match is either going to be won by Samoa Joe or Miz 100% because the IC belt would have to go to SmackDown now because SmackDown just lost the US Championship. This one kind of up in the air if they are definitely going to win it or not with Jinder, but at this rate, with the country they're in and them pushing Jinder Mahal like crazy, it's pretty much guaranteed that Jinder is going to win the belt. The rest of the title matches, as of right now, I don't... Uh, have any of the rumors for it. The uh, Brudgeon Brothers are retaining. There's no women wrestling um the country and their religious belief will not allow the woman to compete so you will not be seeing any woman matches uh, tomorrow. Also, the Cruiserweight is Kleso versus Cedric Alexander. That one, I haven't heard anything about a title switch or a title retain. That's one they're keeping pretty low-key. I think because the belt right now may not mean as much to them with every other belt on the line, so they haven't really came out with any spoilers for that match yet. Also, the Greatest Royal Rumble, I haven't heard anything about anyone winning that. But we do have a couple big names. If I were to do a guess, I would say maybe Kurt Angle winning it or Rey Mysterio winning it. A great Kylie's going to be in that match. Um, Maybe he'll be in the bottom one. But overall, we're only really looking at uh, two to three title changes at the Greatest Royal Rumble. I think this pay-per-view if they play it correctly, it will be a really good show. I'm um, guessing a runtime of three and a half to four hours. So let me know what you think is going to happen at the Greatest Royal Rumble. Make sure to like this video and subscribe because there's always more to come.